So in a recent interview, Michael C. Hall talked about the possibility of Dexter coming back someday. And while I don't think that this was an immediate confirmation that he even wants to come back, I feel like everybody is talking about it, so why don't we just kind of throw in our two cents. Guys, tell me what you think about this in the comment section below, but let's get into it. Hey YouTubers, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. So as I said, and I'm going to give you the quote just so you know exactly what Michael C. Hall said and what it means for the Dexter finale and the future of Dexter, at least with him involved, and you can have your own ideas as to what he Really means here for me it doesn't really come off as oh this is definitely gonna happen someday it's just kind of oh I'm open to it so with that being said he says every time I'm asked about this I say never say never the next thing I know is that there's an announcement on the internet saying he's going to do it again the way the show ended gave no sense of closure for people and a lot of questions unanswered. For it all to be tidied up after that would have not been honest. For him to isolate his own death and to extricate himself from the context of his life made sense to me. As far as any more of that happening, it's possible. He goes on to say, There have been different possibilities that have come up. They haven't felt worth doing, but there's still something potentially there. But there are no immediate plans to do that. So just jumping off of that, exactly what he's talking about, there is plans. Obviously, this is one of Showtime's biggest priorities. This kind of came up as soon as Dexter ended a couple years back was there was an idea that they were going to do a spinoff or that they were going to wait in order to try to revive it. They weren't ready to get rid of it, which for me as a fan kind of irked me. I mean, I'm sure if you've been following this show for as long as I have and have been as much of a fan of this show for as long as I have, you can remember the fact that they struck a three-year deal. I believe this was after season five. Of course, Michael C. Hall was going through his cancer treatment throughout season five, and that's one of the reasons that season just didn't feel right. I mean, he even looked different during that time, definitely wearing a wig in order to cover up the hair loss. But they gave him a pay raise, and they came up with this whole media campaign saying, we have three-year plan. We're going to end it in season eight, but we're going to be building to an inevitable final. And then it just felt like a hodgepodge of various different ideas throughout the next three seasons. I didn't like season six. In fact, I think it's probably one of the worst. It picked up in season seven, but season eight just had too many threads and too many different story ideas. There was a lot of good content there, but at the same time, it never really picked a direction until the very end, and that's what made it really obnoxious. And the fact that the show ended the way it did was not really a boom for fans. I mean, everyone was disappointed with it back in the day, and I think at this point, too, everyone still disappointed with it he even says no sense of closure so many unanswered questions like what's going to happen to Dexter in the future this can't be the end and he's right you know you can't have Dexter as a character be all tidied up at the end of the season or into the show and have it all kind of feel right I mean it wouldn't have been genuine I feel like one of the reasons I have come to really enjoy the ending or at least accept it as a fan is you know, it wasn't going to be perfect. This guy has kind of a chaotic life, but at the same time, I wish somebody would have come up to them and say, hey, you know what? You promised a three-year plan. You promised the conclusion to this series, and this just doesn't feel like it is. I mean, there is so many ideas here. You're not building towards anything in any seasons. And remember, this was going on at the same time Breaking Bad was. They didn't start at the same time, but they sure as hell ended at the same time because Dexter ended a week before the ending of Breaking Bad, if you can remember that or if that shocks you. And it's kind of crazy just seeing the differences in those two shows. Dexter kind of started too early. You know, each season, even though it was telling the story, Overall, each season was kind of self-contained when Breaking Bad was telling an overarching story with every single season building on itself and telling the exact same story, not really stopping and starting. Yes, there were season antagonists, but the whole story revolved around Walter White growing in that year's time frame over the first five seasons. So, yeah, like... I wish Dexter would have kind of done something similar in the last three seasons, not allowing the story to stop, maybe even following one serial killer from one season to another, just building that tension. But yeah, like I, I understand where he's coming from. I understand that it doesn't feel genuine just to tidy everything up, and I understand that you have to come up with something pretty amazing in order to get him back for a movie or season nine, or just back in general because of the way they left it. It's kind of hard to bring it all back together you know get all the main players back together especially now that and spoiler warning for anyone who hasn't seen this show because as bad as it became 
the first four seasons are definitely worth the watch and after that you might want to just kind of finish it because binging usually is better from week to week and you might have a different perspective on these seasons than I do but Deborah dies at the end of season eight and Yes, that kind of puts a wrench in everything because her relationship with Dexter is one of the big selling points of this show. In fact, I feel like she's kind of the scene stealer of almost every single episode. And just having her gone kind of puts the brakes on for Dexter's story. You know, he has no one left that he's fighting for. Yes, there's Harrison and yes, there's Argentina. But at the same time, we need Deborah. But we've seen Dexter deal with his inner demons, you know, the Dark Passenger so many other times. It's possible they could just bring her back in that context and then they just have the same conversations and same relationship that they always had, except she's just not there for anybody else. Or as I pitched in the past, my idea is just to bring Quinn back into the fold and see what he's up to during all this. And then hopefully, maybe after a season of that or maybe halfway through or just something, you bring back Dexter because Quinn was always curious about what Dexter was up to. Quinn always had psychological issues. He could be the one seeing Deborah. She could be his version of a dark passenger and him being obsessed with what actually went on as a fan of this show, you know, kind of putting him in those shoes and trying to figure out all the unanswered questions from the series finale from season eight. And that way, as he starts going down the rabbit hole of Dexter and Dexter's past and whether or not he did die in the hurricane, he starts to unravel the fact that Dexter might actually be alive. And that way you bring back Dexter and get everybody into the fold. So you focus probably the first half of the season on Quint and then you can go back and figure out exactly what Dexter's up to and where he comes into the overall story. And maybe they have to team up or whatever. You know, I'm not the writer here. Here, but I'm just saying this to me is the best way to actually get everyone back into the fray and actually start telling the best story possible. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that the show is going to come back in any way, shape or form? Or do you think we're going to get a movie? Or do you think that Michael C. Hall is going to have to be lured back into this, especially after a couple years when he doesn't have any roles left or something? And he's just like, okay, any idea will do. Let's just get this done with. I want my paycheck. Or do you want him to be passionate about it? You know, there's just so many different things you can talk about with this. Did the ending of Dexter satisfy you or were you left kind of like me at the time where like oh man I wish they really hadn't have gone that direction I wish they had actually been building to something like they had actually been talking about over the last couple years hope everyone's having a fantastic day don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload it's been real